Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you one of my favorite Excel functions. It's the count if function. I'm going to use it several times here, and plus I'm going to name a range. So here's my Excel file. I want to know how many employees work in the training department. So instead of doing the range of G2 to G21, I'm going to highlight all my information first. By default, you're on the Home tab. Go to Formulas. Under Define Names, Create from Selection. Take the check mark out of left column because my header row is just in the row, top row. Click OK. Click one time anywhere. So if I hit the name box right here, department is now here. One more time for state. So I'm going to use the count if function. I want to know how many people work in accounting. Equal symbol, count if. My range instead of G2 to G21 is department. Comma, what am I looking for? I'm looking for training. You have to put it in quotations. I have three people that work in the training department. I'm going to do it again. This time I want to find out how many people are in Florida. Equals, count if, tab. Instead of D2, I'm going to do the word state, comma, I'm looking for Florida. It is not case sensitive. doesn't matter how I type in the F and the L. And I have four people, and I'm just going to line that over. Here's what's nice about it. Instead of manually counting them, this person right here was in training, and so was this person. Notice it went from three to five. Another count if, I want to know, I'm just going to click anywhere to do this. I want to know how many of my employees make over $20. I'm going to just do it without naming them. Comma, I'm looking for over $20. You still have to do the quotations. And then just press enter. 14 people, if you want to see them real quick, highlight them. Conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, greater than 14, hit OK, there they are, let's test it. Give this person $12, 11, if you notice the count if is changing and the conditional formatting is changing. And one last thing about count if, if you want to, you can do a wild card. So I'm looking for people that work in the T-R-A-I starts it off in case people misspell it. It still works using a wild card with your count if. So there it is with numbers. And there's two examples of text. There's your conditional formatting. And I named the ranges so it's easy to pick up information. Hopefully that helps with count if. Feel free to call me for Microsoft Office training.